the headlines for today's news. Sea levels are rising due to climate change. Which is better, face-to-face -face or online classes? Should we modernize public transport? Good morning everyone and welcome to OLC News. Today we will be reporting about the environment, which is better, face-to-face -face or online classes? And should we modernize public transport? All of these will be reported to you only here on LLC News. For the first reporting, we have Gerard Pehenya reporting about rising sea levels. Gerard? Good morning, Via. Due to climate change and the warming of the Earth, sea levels are now rising at an alarming rate. Scientists now predict that islands will be soon be covered and will disappear if we don't do anything to stop it. Islanders are now worried about their safety and the well-being of their country because of these events. Via. I see. Many people are being negatively affected, including us. We should all care for our planet. It is our common home. Up next, we have, which is better, face-to-face -face or online classes? Stacy Castro reporting. Thanks, Via. Many students say that although online classes give them more comfort because they are in their own homes, many say that they can get distracted or the internet connection is unstable and they can no longer attend their classes. So, many students choose face-to-face -face classes as the best option. Not only can they learn much better, but they can also socialize with their peers they can also actively participate in their classes more and there are fewer distractions in their homes. Back to you, Via. Thank you, Stacy. It's nice knowing that students are now invested in the preferred learning environment. Last but not least, we are going to report about the fact that we should modernize public transport to improve our society's form of transportation. We have Anika Osapin reporting. Thank you, Via. Many people are still taking the old public transportation, even with the high risk of getting injured. In addition to this, jeepneys or jeeps are slow and as well as inefficient. And in order to reduce such injuries and increase efficiency, we should modernize public transport. These will improve the urban quality of life, reduce economic losses due to time and loss in travel, reduce health costs and premature deaths, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and improve the financial situation of the operators and industry by improving service quality levels. Interesting. I see how this could be an improvement to our lives that can also make our lives more efficient. That is all for this news reporting. I am Vidal Reyes, signing off.